Next, we are going to show the mattress stitch, which can be done both vertically and horizontally. In this first example, we are going to see the vertical mattress stitch. These stitches are used to properly bring closer the edges of the wound. They also work as hemostatic stitches. First, we perform a simple stitch, taking all the layers. Remember to do it at the same depth and distance on both sides. The needle is then turned and nailed very close to the edge, superficially. Just taking the epidermis and then dermis, not taking the subcutaneous tissue, and very close to the edge on both sides. Always at the same depth and at the same distance on both sides, leaving the edge inverted. We not. and cut the suture. This stitch can be repeated as many times as necessary along the length of the wound. Let's see it again. Next, simple stitch. We turn the needle We insert it again close to the surface, taking the dermis layer at the same depth and not the same distance. We not. and cut. Horizontal mattress stitch. The horizontal mattress stitch is, above all, a hemostatic stitch. We start with a simple stitch that goes through all the layers. Let's remember the importance of suturing at the same distance and depth on both sides of the wound. We turn the needle, but instead of inserting the needle close to the edge, we advance parallel to the wound and finish with another simple stitch. not seen on the opposite side. This can be repeated as many times as necessary in order to achieve an appropriate hemostasis 